And we about to try the restaurant that started hamburgers, bruh. As y'all see, it's a high wind warning out there. So please leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed because we about to risk it all right now to try this very first hamburger, y'all. Bitch, you a 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 dog in your own girl too, But this is my first time in Connecticut. Never been here before. We gonna see what's up with the Lewis lunch real quick. Her little ass pissing in the car, come on. Why would I do that? Get out. So which one that? My boogers, if you must know. Nigga, you capping. Why would I lie? Get That's out. That's straight urine, girl. Stop playing. It's boogers. But come on. Shorty bringing her Maryland antics out here to Connecticut, y'all. Where'd you just kick that? Huh? Where'd you just kick that? So just like Boston, Connecticut got that vintage feel to it, y'all. Y'all see things look real historical. But I read something that said the whole East Coast looks like this, y'all. Like, the East Coast looks real vintage, but then the West Coast, all them buildings be looking new. I guess it's just the East Coast thing. They got comic books and stuff like that on the windows. Niggas with butt chins and chest hairs, all of that. Got a little coffee shop right here. Y'all already know your boy Peaks love coffee. I gotta run in there real quick, see what's up with it. So I'm at the Midpoint Coffee Brewers, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab like a, like a iced coffee or something like that. How long you guys been in business for, man? Four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. Don't look in, looking top tier. Thank you. So y'all see this thing got extra caramel, got it with almond milk. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a big fan of cow titty milk, you know. You know the vibes. So I grabbed me a caramel macchiato, y'all. It's strong. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But if you're looking for authentic coffee, I would stop by this spot. But I'm letting y'all know now, it's not sweet. So if you're looking for sweet coffee, this ain't for you. It's for somebody looking for that buzz, that jittery effect, that... People thinking that you, you, you sniff some coke whole time, you just drink this coffee. All right, y'all, so I'm at the Lewis Lunch right now, and this is the place that started the hamburger in America. They've been doing this since 1985. You see it's still looking vintage. I'ma go in there, I'ma try real quick, I'ma let y'all know what I'm thinking about. And apparently they still cook their burgers the way they cooked them in 1895. Let's see what's up with them. First hamburger, when we opened up, we, we were cooking steaks, potato, and a vegetable. So our first hamburger was in 1900. On these grills, on these racks, that's the burger. That's five different cuts of beef. I don't know what the cuts are, the owner does. So the toast is from 1929 and yep. the grills are from 1898. So I'm waiting for the burgers to cook. And y'all see, the whole inside is historical, y'all. Even the way they cook it, you know what I'm saying? They, they cooking that stuff the vintage way. You feel me? The Stone Age way. My man got them old ass grills with that flame. You seen that flame on that bitch. Hopefully the motherfucking patties is hitting. They talking about you can only get the patties medium well. All right, y'all. So they still make these hamburgers the way that they made them in 1895. So... They don't come on a hamburger bun. They come on toast. You gotta get the burger medium well, and then it does not come with ketchup. They literally do not have ketchup in there, and they got a sign in it that says, this is not Burger King. You cannot have it your way. You feel me? You gotta eat it the old school way. Y'all see this burger is super juicy. It comes with cheese, tomato, and onions. One more bite. So the burger is juicy, and it's not horrible. I mean, it's cooked the old school way. You feel me? They still cooking it like it's fucking the 1800s. So it's not going to be the best burger I've ever had. You know what I mean? I personally feel like the burger lacks seasoning. They didn't season it at all. They think it's still the 1800s. They cooking it the Stone Age way. For what it is, it's all right. You feel me? It's something nice to experience. But I've had way better burgers than this. I'm gonna get this burger an honest six out of 10. I really wasn't expecting this burger to be top tier because times has changed, you know what I mean? It's like having a vehicle from the 1800s and comparing it to a Tesla. It's not gonna be the same, it's not gonna hit the same. Imagine waking up and being like, oh man, I want an old school burger from back in the day. Like who the fuck, is you George Washington, my nigga? Why the fuck would you want that? There's way better places, like five guys. Real, yo, they all real, they turn Andy. dumb all day, you feel me? Like, you know what it is. Oh yeah, you can find me on Instagram at really the artist 23 man. I definitely do music, drill music, jersey music, club music, anything you want, man. You already know, 203, man, out here. Hey, bitches be twerking to that shit? What? Do they? 
You know what I'm saying? He got that drop it low music. You feel me? So y'all listen to his music. Look, he's saying all the bras gonna be dropping their draws. I don't know. I ain't never heard it yet, but that's what he telling me. So a lot of my comment section was telling me to come to New Haven, Connecticut and try Sally's Pizza. So that's where I'm at right now. Apparently this that real authentic top tier pizza. You see they got a line outside and all that. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. This don't better be top tier because the line is crazy. You see people everywhere. Have you ever had this pizza before? Yes. Is it top tier? It's top tier. Best, best in New Connecticut? Best in Connecticut. Holy shit. So it's worth it? Definitely worth it. Worth the wait? Worth the wait. It's better than Domino's? Oh my god, yeah. Papa John's? Yes. Little Caesars? Little Caesars even. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mozzarella tomato pie. And I'm also gonna make my own pizza, y'all. Okay. Alright y'all, so I just paid $50 for two pizzas. They said it's gonna be a 45 minute wait. I was already out there waiting for a minute, y'all. This pizza better be top tier, bruh. Like I said, everybody from Connecticut in the comments was telling me to try this pizza and try some other pizzas. But you see, this pizza is already gonna take over an hour just to get. So we might not grab no more pizzas. This don't better be top tier. I'm hungry as hell. Y'all look at her right there. She was going crazy for the pizza. Like she's a pizza fiend. She's out there. <laughs> I need the fucking pizza. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I've been waiting for about an hour. Hopefully, this pizza ready. Damn, the line's still deep. All right, y'all. I got the pizza, and you see the line getting longer and longer. Hopefully, it's worth the wait. Like I said, I waited over an hour for this pizza. They saying it's top tier. We gonna find out. First things first. We gonna start off with the cheese pizza. The reason why I'm starting out with the cheese pizza is because, hey, it's a basic pizza. You see the pizza's extremely thin. The pizza's red. It don't got too much cheese on it. You can see the sauce through the pizza. You feel what I'm saying? We gonna find out if Connecticut is really known for the pizza like they say. So the sauce is extremely sweet. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't taste cheese, all I taste is sauce. But the sauce is top tier. Definitely top tier sauce. Before I give my rating, I wanna try one more piece of pizza when I got a little bit more cheese on it because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't taste no cheese at all. The dough, the dough's top tier dough. Got that crunch to it. Got a little bit of a burnt taste, you already know. That's how they cook it. On this slice right here, you see way more cheese than the other slice. Great taste. Good flavor. Definitely good pizza. So the red sauce is top tier. This pizza right here got their white sauce on it. We gonna see if the white sauce is good. Ooh, this thing's looking beautiful. Y'all see on this pizza, we got some peppers and we got some shrimp on it. It's got the white sauce and they topped it with garlic. This pizza's looking phenomenal. I know a lot of you guys are gonna question my judgment. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, Peaks, why would you put shrimp on pizza? I'm gonna tell you. There's a spot down the street, not down the street, but down from where I'm from called Ann Pizza. We put shrimp on pizza and the, and the shrimp be busting. Ain't gonna lie to you. Should be having me bussing. I'm telling you, that garlic flavor is something serious. It's almost like an Alfredo pizza. Like a shrimp Alfredo. Without the pasta. Definitely a good pizza. The peppers are nice and soft. The shrimp got the flavor to it. The crust got the crunch to it. The pizza top tier. Pizza bussin. Especially this one right here. White sauce pizza is phenomenal. That garlic taste definitely takes it to the next level. Y'all was right. Y'all was in capping. Connecticut definitely got some good pizza. The burger place is trash. The burger place is somewhere you can go just to cross something off the list, the bucket list, you know what I'm saying? You've been to the first ever hamburger place. 
But if you want some good pizza, I say come to this spot. This restaurant gets a solid 9.8 out of 10. 9.8. So apparently this is the world's largest rope course. I'm gonna take the kids in here real quick to have some fun, you know what I'm saying? We all the way out here in Connecticut, might as well have some fun, you feel me? This is the rope course? The furniture place. Bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, we supposed to be jumping on the beds or what we supposed to be doing, y'all? You wanna jump on the beds? April Fool's. Wanna jump on some beds, son? What type of place is this? So this is a furniture store, y'all. We went to the wrong spot. So we guessed that the place is inside of the furniture store, y'all, because it says that this is the location. So we're going to go back inside of there, and hopefully we can find this trampoline park, rope park, whatever the hell this is. So now that we in here, we got to find out where this rope course is, y'all. So just so y'all know, if y'all ever come here, when you walk in, you're going to think it's a furniture store. But in the back of the furniture store, they got that rope course. As soon as y'all leave the furniture section, you see it get lit. You feel me? It's like the movies. Hold up. We start walking ticket sales for the day. Bro, I was excited to be here, bro. I, I drove all the way to Connecticut, bro. You feel me? I'm trying to have some fun. They got me fucked up. If I need to, I run into this motherfucker. Start climbing on shit. You see it? It look lit. I got to see what's up with this real quick. Alright y'all, so we was able to find some tickets. As y'all see, I got that wristband on, bruh. They talking about some I gotta put my camera in a the locker. They said we not allowed to have the cameras up there, y'all. I don't know what to do right now. Not gonna lie to y'all. But I'm kinda look, I'm kinda nervous, y'all. That shit high up. I'm saying, my black ass ready to hike. You scared? Can't be scared, son. My black ass is, though. All right, y'all. So I got to vlog this part with the cell phone because they said they said no cameras allowed. They said no phones allowed either. But I got to smuggle this motherfucker in. You feel me? All right, y'all. Look, you see they putting me in a harness right now? Look, she she giving me a hard time. What? Why you? Don't do that. Oh, I ain't going to lie. This show high up. You scared? Don't be scared, son. If you scared, go to church. Holy fuck. Hey, I'm scared, son. Yo, I feel like I'm supposed to be connected onto something, bro. They connected. Why I ain't connected? Bro, they ain't connected me to shit. I gotta be connected, don't I? Yeah. Holy crap, dog. I was in the bathroom, I'm sorry. Bro, we could have failed, bro. They didn't even have us put the harness on. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. Bro, we got down, bro. We got down, bro. We was too nicked up, bro. We was up there with no harness. If me and him would have fell off of that, bro, we would have been dead. Tell me, like, I'm nervous right now. Hey! You having fun? It's fun? Yeah, I don't feel like this furniture. Was it scary? Hell yeah. You was nervous out there? Yeah, we did one thing and then right the fuck back. I would have been able to do it, but after going up there without the harness, dog, I ain't even want to do it no more, bro. Because look, one wrong move, my ass would have went splat. You feel me? No more peaks of this, dog. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. That little rope place is cool, but it's way too high up. What y'all think about the rope place? Y'all like it? No, it was, no, scary. It was bad. Like it. It's I bad? Because like I didn't have enough time and it was scary. I got to swing around and swing back around. 